What's going on guys, it's Street from Satire Street here, and Ron DeSantis has put forward this bill, it's called the BH1557 bill, and what this bill does, it stops children from being groomed in schools, from being pushed any kind of sexual orientation or any kind of sexual narrative into a five-year-old child's mind. Now, any reasonable person would agree this is a good idea. But for some reason, Disney and the woke celebrities have come forward and have called this bill the Don't Say Gay Bill, where it doesn't say Don't Say Gay Bill at all. What this bill does say, it just stops pushing sexual orientation for five-year-old kids, which any person in the right mind would agree with that. But for some reason, people like Mark Hamill and Ron Perlman have decided to come out publicly and state, gay, 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 gay. Which I just, I, I don't understand why they want to do this. Good morning, Governor DeSantis. Ron here. Um, don't say gay. Don't say as the first two words in a sentence spoken by a political leader of a state in the United States of America, don't say. Don't fucking say, you fucking Nazi pig. Say. First Amendment. Read about it. Then run for office. You piece of shit. It's not just these two people. A few a few celebrities are doing this. Oscar Isaac is pushing the same thing as well. He's made a statement saying gay, gay, gay. I just don't see why it's so important that they feel that a five-year-old child has to learn anything sexual. It's it's just, it's plain wrong. That is the literal definition of child grooming. It's just sad and sick, and I don't know why these people want to put their faces for being pro-advocates of child grooming. I, I, I don't know why they want to do it, but if that's the hill they want to die on, that's good for them. I think these people should be on a watch list, if I'm being honest. It's they either don't know what's in this bill or they are pro-child grooming. I, I don't understand why they would want to say something like that. I understand people want to support the trans and the LGBT community. I understand that. But not when it comes to five-year-old children. We don't indoctrinate any kind of sexual orientation or sexual genders to five-year-old children because they are five-year-old children. Five-year-old children don't have any kind of sexual feelings whatsoever because they are children. I've been small studios most of my career and I'd heard, you know, you can hear whispers. Like I'd, I'd heard things like, oh, you know, they won't let you show this at a Disney show. And I'm like, okay. So I was a little like sus when I started. And, but then my experience was bafflingly the opposite of what I had heard on my little pocket of like, you know, proud family, Disney TVA, um, the showrunners were super welcoming. Meredith Roberts and like the, the our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like I I feel like I felt like it was I mean like maybe it was that way in the past, but I guess like something must have happened in the last like like they are turning it around. They're going hard, and then all that like momentum that I felt like that sense of I don't have to be afraid to like. Let's have these two characters kiss. Let's in the background. This like I was just wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to like. The, if you see anything queer in the show, I'm proud of them. But like I, I just was like, no one would stop me, and no one was trying to stop. And as you can see in the footage that was from one of the leaked Disney meetings, they just want to push the gay agenda, and no one's stopping them. Everyone's just letting them do what they want. So that's where Disney stands. It just seems like Disney's just focused on this LGBT mindset now and they're just going to push hard until all their movies have nothing but agendas and politics and whatever they want to put in their films i think disney just needs to get back into the film making industry and not push for any kind of political agendas or movements or whatever and just make nice wholesome family movies that they're just known to make but yeah that was my little rant i just wanted to make a little video and have a little rant about it because i just think this whole situation is just weird and just it just needs to stop but let me know what you think in the comments like and please subscribe if you can. Thank you very much. I'll see you all later. Last summer we, we removed all of the um, gender 
greetings in relationship to our live spiels. So we no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> you serious?